I had been doing research in Spain and Brazil before, uh, we can say the, the global south and the west, so I was very much interested in seeing how industrialization worked in the east. My name is uh, Juan Manuel Cano Sanchez, uh, Hu Ang. I'm from Spain and I have been in China for uh, five years. And I am an associate professor at the Institute for Cultural Heritage and the History of Science and Technology of the University of Science and Technology, Beijing. Since I came here, I, I gained plenty of experience and uh, plenty of knowledge and new perspectives uh, as well. But if I have to choose something more tangible, something more concrete, I gain a position. I didn't have and I gained the possibility of having my own team for conducting research. And so from that point of view, I would say that China is a land of opportunities. The students are really try very hard to, to be active in the class. And, and they are really good and they have very, very nice ideas. And in the end, all of them are always very participative. So I, I, I must say that every year I have to change my slides because the students made corrections to, to me and they provide very uh, valuable feedback. Uh, so, so yes, I think I am not exaggerating if I say that the students uh, teach to me uh, as many things as I teach to them. So, so it is really rewarding to, to teach here in, in China. I think it's not exaggerated to say that Beijing is one of the capitals for industrial heritage in Asia. We have these huge sites that have been reused with plenty of success, such as Shougan or Chijoba 798. For Shougan, I would say that well, the scale of that site and the scale of the technology preserved there is uh, really, is almost intimidating. It is possible to imagine the noise, the heat, the general atmosphere there. So, so it is very interesting to see how all of that has changed to a totally different place, which is very interesting uh, from the point of view of the new uh, goals for an ecological civilization and everything. There is something I particularly like that is strolling the city, just uh, walk around, and especially in the Hutong. Uh, the Hutong is the place I like to stroll the most. Even from an archaeological perspective, from a contemporary archaeological perspective, the Hutong are very interesting because there you can see that uh, pre-modernity and modernity or even super-modernity, they overlap. So all these different temporalities are together in the Hutong. But the acceleration of time characteristic of super-modern times is not there, it's not in the Hutong. Somehow the Hutong is a space of a slow time and I believe that is why I like so much to go there, because it is so relaxing, it is so authentic, and it is very Chinese. When I came in 2018, my plan was to stay for two or three years only, uh, but now I have been here for five years, and I feel that I am in the very beginning of uh, my life in China. So I still have plenty of things that I would like to do. There are still plenty of things that I would like to experience here. And I feel that, uh, well, the contribution that I would like to make to this university and even to these countries in the very beginning. Me llamo Juan Manuel Cano Sanchez y esto es China.